He's really on. Yes. It's the jewel in the crown. The Israeli army defeated countries, defeated armies. It can't put down riots by women and children. Of course it could, if they would let it. But the soldiers are hobbled by insane orders. I serve in the army. I know what the insane orders, orders are. They can curse you, spit at you, throw, throw rocks at you. You can't do anything. So what do you think this, this does to the Arabs? It gives them an enormous self-confidence. They are no longer afraid of soldiers. They are not afraid today. And it is only fear which has kept these animals away. And so they come to hate in their eyes. The hate in their eyes. And they're not afraid. Insane orders. If your life is threatened, you have to first shoot in the air. If your life is threatened, you have to first shoot in the air. And then you have the legs. If you must shoot in the air, at least in the lungs. <laughs> If one comes to slay you, slay him first. That is Judaism. And not this nonsense fed to us by Jewish leaders, schindlers and swindlers of all kinds. <laughs> speaking in, speaking in, in the name of a uh, Judaism which is a perverted thing, a corrupted thing, a counterfeit thing. This is the commandment. And thou shalt live by them and not die by them. And there was a commandment to live, to live. I don't know what will, what, what will be in 10 years if we continue in this way. I don't know what will be in 10 years. I do know that if we continue in this way in two years, on television, you'll be seeing the same scenes that you see now from Gaza taking place in the Galilee. You see Jewish soldiers shooting at Arabs in the Galilee. But this time you see Arabs shooting, shooting back because the Galilee is filled with Arabs who have weapons. And the Israeli Arab is a chassouf, he's brazen, he's a sufferer, speaks Hebrew well, isn't afraid, has no complexes, a dangerous person dangerous person. Today the Galilee has a majority of Arabs. Why the Arab? The Mishulah said triangle, which is that chunk of Israel right behind the coast, right behind such cities as Petah Tikva, and Farsab, and Ranana, and Herzliya, and, and others. With Arab towns such as Taiba, Tira, Mufakim, Baka, Kapakasa, that area right behind the Israeli coast coastline, just five, six kilometers back, is solidly Arab. It is a solid Arab area. If God forbid there is a war, one full Israeli army will have to stay inside Israel to protect the Jews from the Arabs inside the country. 